Germany's motor industry has quietly unleashed a groundbreaking new weapon, the double S CT motor from manufacturer Mail. This electric motor isn't just better, it's amazing. It boasts a world record beating efficiency of over 95% and can run at 92% of its peak power indefinitely without overheating. Until now, experts thought that was impossible. Record-breaking efficiency, over 95% energy conversion, continuous high power, 92% of peak output non-stop, fully oil-cooled, a stream of thermo oil flows through the entire motor for constant optimal performance. Material independence, cheaper, more durable, and built 100% without rare earths or expensive magnets. With numbers like these, no wonder some are calling it a secret weapon. It's the kind of breakthrough that could send shockwaves through the global auto industry, especially worrying foreign competitors. Could the mainstream media be downplaying this development? It's surprising how such a revolution slipped under the radar. One tech watcher muses, imagine the look on foreign automakers' faces when this thing hits the market. German engineers may have been holding a trump card all along, only playing it now. Suddenly, the narrative that Germany is lagging behind sounds very questionable. Germany's unseen tech power catching up in e-motors. For years, analysts have written off German innovation in electric motors, focusing instead on the US and China as the tech leaders. Headlines warned of declining sales for German automakers in the EV segment. But behind the scenes, a comeback is brewing. Firms like Vitesco, Mail, and Continental keep rolling out systems that not only compete with Tesla and BYD, but in some cases surpass them. Could it be that German engineers have been quietly cooking up technology that's ready to shatter expectations? One industry insider hints that Mail's new motor solves a central problem in e-motor design, a problem that many others have been desperately trying to crack. It's the kind of secret success that makes you wonder, why haven't we heard more about it? Some even whisper that big corporations have known about these breakthroughs all along, only talking them up now that the systems are market ready. The so-called catch-up might be more of a stealth race that Germany has been winning in silence. Suddenly, reports of new breakthroughs pour in, as if the lull was just the calm before the storm. It's almost as if the narrative was being carefully managed. Maybe Germany did hold its cards close to the chest, waiting for the right moment to reveal them. Either way, the playing field appears to be shifting dramatically. The fiery challenge, how heat destroys e-motors. If there's a villain in the story of electric motors, it's heat. Electric motors naturally heat up when running, and managing that heat has been a major headache. Under everyday driving, you might not notice the temperature spike. But imagine a heavy truck climbing a steep mountain, or a car on a racetrack. Suddenly, heat becomes a huge problem. Consider what overheating does. Limits power output. The hotter the motor, the less power it can safely produce. Reduces lifespan. High temperatures cause material fatigue inside the motor over time. Hertz efficiency. In real-world use, Heat forces the motor to dial back performance, undermining energy economy. Critical loads, demanding scenarios. Steep climbs, heavy hauling, racing, can send temperatures through the roof. The worst part is that the toughest spots to cool are exactly where it gets hottest. The ends of the winding coils and especially the rotor itself. The rotor spins at thousands of RPM inside the stator, which makes it almost impossible to attach any fixed cooling lines. It's like the motor's hottest heart is trapped in a roasting chamber with no easy escape for heat. Frustrated engineers had one fallback plan. Turn down the power. The motor's control software would throttle output, sometimes to just a quarter of its peak, to avoid overheating. On a grueling climb or under a heavy load, this means the motor might slow to a crawl instead of surging ahead. 
Up until now, conventional wisdom said, if you can't cool it, cap it. One industry veteran says, heat has been the silent enemy of e-motors. No matter how revolutionary an electric drivetrain looks on paper, heat is the unseen assassin that stops it in its tracks. Until now, the only way to handle it was to sacrifice performance when things got hot. This very limitation is what could make Mail's announcement feel like crossing the final frontier. Now, prepare for something straight out of science fiction. Mail has reimagined cooling in a way that is jaw-dropping. The idea of submerging a motor in oil isn't new, but what they did with it is totally next level. They literally immerse the entire rotor and winding assembly in oil-based coolant. This means the coolant is in direct contact with every tiny hot spot inside. Normally, heat has to travel from metal to a cooling tube. Here, the oil touches every hot part, from the winding heads to the rotor core. It's like giving the motor a perfectly tailored thermal blanket. But the real stroke of genius is how the oil moves. There's no pump needed at all. Instead, as the rotor spins, centrifugal force flings the oil outward. Think of a spinning carousel sending riders outward. The spinning rotor acts like an automatic pump, generating an overpressure that pushes the hot oil out of the rotor. This oil then travels to a heat exchanger, dumps its heat, and cools down. Driven by the rotor's motion, the now cooled oil flows back in. It's a self-sustaining cooling loop powered by the motor's own rotation with no extra energy needed. Imagine a motor that literally pumps its own coolant while running, a stroke of pure engineering genius. Industry watchers are buzzing. This is unlike anything seen before in efficiency or simplicity. An engineer from a competing firm remarked privately, if males claims check out, they've pulled off nothing short of a miracle. Because of this system, a single male motor can sustain about 90% of its peak power indefinitely, far beyond what standard cooling methods allow. That's roughly two to three times what other approaches manage under continuous stress. And male didn't stop there. Unprecedented performance, diesel beating power. Males engineers doubled down by pairing two of these motors together. The result, up to 92% of peak power continuously. The official specs are astonishing. Peak output, 697 horsepower, 520 kilowatts. Continuous output, 644 horsepower, 480 kilowatts. Sustained power, 92% of peak for unlimited duration. Mail claims this twin-motor setup outperforms a diesel engine in heavy trucks. They say a 35-ton electric truck with these motors could climb the famous Brenner Pass between Austria and Italy, 10% faster than the fastest diesel truck. An electric truck beating diesel on a mountain road? That sounds almost unbelievable. Yet these are the numbers being thrown around. Such figures naturally create a buzz of excitement and skepticism. How can a motor be this powerful without overheating? Is this purely engineering brilliance, or is there something being glossed over? One automotive analyst cautions, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. The industry is watching. If mail delivers on these promises, it won't just be a headline. It could rewrite the future of heavy transport. The Rare Earth Dilemma Hidden Catch or Clever Trick Before popping the champagne, there's a twist in the story. The new SCT motor is a permanent magnet synchronous machine, PMSM, meaning its rotor uses powerful permanent magnets made from neodymium, dysprosium, and other rare earth elements. Wait, wasn't this supposed to be free of rare earths? Those materials are exactly why we fear supply chain disruptions. Nearly all of them are imported. If this motor relies on them, it seems to contradict the earlier promise of total independence. 
However, Mail appears to have anticipated this line of questioning. Their press release emphasizes that using those magnets is optional. The motor can also be built with electromagnets instead of permanent magnets. In that version, the rotor contains copper windings and a clever mechanism to energize them in place of rare earth magnets. Believe it or not, this alternative design is already market ready. Mail has even called it the perfect e-motor in announcements. If delivered, this means the motor could truly be made 100% from local materials. Just copper, iron, oil, no rare earths at all. It's almost as if they planned for this debate ahead of time. This switchable design sounds like insurance against critics. If all goes to plan, Germany might finally break free from rare earth imports in this key sector. For now, it looks like they've left no loophole. Whether you believe in magnets or electromagnets, mail seems ready. It's a clever move, a Swiss Army knife motor design that can adapt to whatever question you throw at it.